We all know that, don't we, right? I just wanted to do a shoe review. It's not like one of these where I'm going to rate it 5, 10, something out, blah, 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 uh, for every little different thing, but just my experience with the shoes and how I found them to be good or bad in my way. So here we've got the, uh, let's see if it focuses, I think it did. We've got the Hoka Oni Oni um, Speed Go 2. This is the Caribbean something yellow something color <laughs> but uh, I've had the previous one well one other pair than this before they're actually stuck in Spain because <laughs> I left them at a aid station and I still haven't got them back let's see if we get them back but they I'd already run a thousand kilometers in them so yeah but these ones these are actually probably the, my most favorite shoe I've ever run in uh, they, are, they are a trail shoe, they've got 5mm lugs on the bottom uh, with a Vibram outsole which is super, super grippy. I must admit, I really love that grip, it is just insanely good on slippy surfaces. Obviously on, on thin sheets of ice, nothing is ever going to be like a full grip because ice is ice, you need spikes. But it's got these 5mm lugs which sort of dig into anything like little crinkles in the snow or ice that you've got there. Uh, really, really good. Also, the, the, the lug layout is really good as well. And the Vibram uh, just really, really is one of the best grips I think I've ever used on a shoe. So as you can see, it's got quite a, a big stack height. Stack height is how uh, thick it is. And, so from where your foot sits to the ground. So I'm not really sure, but I think it's around 20 mil uh, the stack height. Even though it has got this pretty thick and heavy um, heel that you can see, your, your foot doesn't sit way up. You actually sit down in this uh, heel here. And uh, that actually helps to give you a little bit more stability on those rocky grounds and such. So this one, um, trail shoe, used for like, you know, on, on trails and going, running in the mountains and on rocky surfaces. Uh, I use it quite a lot all year round. I'm using it running in the snow and the ice as well, perfectly good. It's got no rock plate. Rock plate is something that they normally sit, put in the middle here at the forefoot, just so when you're landing on rocks that it doesn't um, dig into your feet. But with this one, uh, there's really no need for it because there's so much cushioning that is just so great. I found the cushioning to last quite a long time. Um, that rebounding effect, let's say, and it's got a good meta rocker, they say. So the meta rocker is that when you land, uh, that it propels you forward. So um, that's really good as well. I really like that. The only thing that I would probably say I would prefer that they could improve with this shoe is the stack height, <coughs> sorry not stack height, heel to top, heel to toe uh, drop, the drop on it, so it's got a uh, 5mm drop so your, your, your ankle, uh, your heel sits 5mm higher than your toes, so that's you know kind of giving you the, the, like a high heel in a way of only 5mm but uh, it's considerable when you um, when you think about it. There's a really good video. I'll try and find it. I'll link it below. I'd really recommend that. It's super interesting to read about and understand about uh, the, the drop and how big of an impact it has. You may think five millimeters is so little, but I really, really recommend watching that. It's super interesting. And anyone who loves running and all those sort of things, it'll it'll be useful. So yeah, um, I've got quite a narrow foot, so I've had no problems with the width. Quite a lot of people, I think, do have problems with the, uh, the width of the, the shoe, but uh, for me, as I've got quite a narrow forefoot, it's perfectly fine for me. <coughs> Sorry. Um, the, 
what else can I say? So the lockdown around the midfoot uh, to get a nice and cure, secure fit and feel around the shoe. Super good, super, super good. Uh, in a long uh, run when I've done like 60, 80 kilometers, it's been really good. There has been, I've got different Hoka shoe which I'll do a review on as well. I have had some issues sometimes that if you do it up too tight that you can get a little bit of lace bite. But I think that's in general with quite a lot of shoes with these type of lace systems and the, uh, well, the overlays here. But really good. I've done a lot of running in these. In Hoka Speed Goat 2s, so I've run about uh, 2,000 kilometers and really love them. Love the feel. They stay nice and dry the whole time. Uh, the, it's surprising how they lose the water and how when, once they are wet, how quick they dry. Um, what else can I say about them? <laughs> Not really sure, but you know, nice and reflective patches on the back. Uh, as I said, my favorite trail shoe that I've ever worn and have used. They have got the speed go three out at the moment. Not sure there's any that much differences some nice colorways in it, the red ones I'm looking forward to getting my hands on, um, but <coughs> I'll wait till I've used up my other shoes as well. Um, really great shoe overall, I really recommend uh, running in a pair of these. And also, don't just buy one pair of shoes and try and run all your runs in them. These type of shoes are meant, um, sorry not these type of shoes, it's really healthy that you rotate through different pairs of shoes because otherwise your your feet, muscles, tendons, ligaments and everything that <coughs> wow, tickle from uh, that only used to being used in one way. If you just use this one shoe or one other type of shoe, um, your feet will start to adapt and adjust and maybe not work as much. So rotating through different pairs of shoes if it's through the same brand or a different brand. Uh, really good and really healthy for your feet. We'll get all those uh, micro mus muscles and such working in different ways, and that's really healthy and really good for you for your improvement and avoiding injuries as well. Because um, that's the that's one of the <laughs> key things when you're doing high mileage and a lot of running uh, prehab and avoiding injuries is much better than uh, rehab and getting injuries. For the Hoka Speed Goat 2, maybe it's not like all the normal shoe reviews you watch, but uh, you know that's just the way I'm doing it. One take, one cut, a little bit um, authentic. I'm not saying the other ones are less authentic, but yeah, great shoe, really recommend it, and I really, really do love them. I know I've said that a lot of times.